Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. This is the page that I'm doing today. This is page two in the 13 pages of Halloween. And kind of like yesterday's page, I'm going to cover over the entire thing with black because I do want to start with the black background. Um, so I'll do that really, really quick and then I will be right back. Okay, so now what I have is I have these small webs stencil. This is one of the new ones from Dilutions. And I'm just gonna set it down like this. And because I don't like getting my fingers covered in anything, <laughs> I'm gonna grab my um, pick or whatever you've got handy to do and kind of hold down the stencil and then I'm gonna spray the Dilutions white linen all over. Okay, so now it just looks like a hot mess. I actually sprayed way too much. It's just my sprayer was acting weird, I don't know. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my white Posca paint pen and I'm just going to refine some of these lines a bit. All right, so it still looks like a hot mess, but I just messily went in and outlined the little spider web centers, I guess, I don't know. So the images that I have is, first and foremost, my borders, I chose this one. So it's gonna go top and bottom. I'll go ahead and cut it in half. From the Don't Won't Kink, I have this. And then I have the little spider from the Mischievous Malcolm. Now, if you don't have that stamp set, Dilution, or Diane just came out with some die cuts. Let me just show you here. It's this set. It's called the Me Monsters. And it has the spider, but it's quite a bit larger. And I'll show you the difference here. It's like one and a half times bigger. So, you could use this one, but I'm going to go ahead and use my smaller one. So, I'm just planning to probably tuck this back here somehow. And then my little spider guy, I want him up here, off to the side. And my intentions are to make that this entire piece be a tuck spot for a tag. So I think what I need to do first and foremost is to get these colored up. And I'm actually just going to do them with the 
fresh lime, island parrot, and cut grass. So I'm gonna do that really, really quick and I'll be right back. So now I need to figure out where I want to put this and I think I want it to go just like that. So what I'm going to do is flip it over, grab me a pencil, and mark it. That way I know that tape only goes on the bottom half here so I can stick it back on there. Now what I need to do is I need to figure out how I'm gonna, where I need to put tape on the back of here for my tag. So I'm just gonna put my tag down in there for now, even though it's not painted. Flip it over, draw my lines, put tape only on the outer part of my lines and get ready to get it stuck down.
Now I'm going to go on my black Posca paint pen. I'm going to outline everything. And just because it's kind of bugging me in the middle of these, I may just go in and do that just to make the spider web more prominent. All right, so now I'm just gonna do my tag, Island Parrot and Black Marble. Now just to put some little borders around my tag here. And that is it guys, that is my page for the day. This is page two, and it was very simple, but this is the um, second stencil set that Diana just recently um, released, and I decided I wanted to use it for day two. <laughs> um, I have plenty of room to write here on my back of my tag, front of my tag, and even down here, and it's just cutesy. I just wanted to have a play and this is what I came up with. Hopefully there's something in this page that can give you some kind of inspiration for your journal pages. If you like the video, please give it a like. I thank you so, so, so very much for watching and until the next time, which will be tomorrow, <laughs> I hope you stay safe, stay warm, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.